Now, IVF has been around for a long time. It's been more than 30 years. Conventional IVF basically means that you're actually taking the egg and you're taking the sperm and you're putting them together, okay, and you're leaving them be. End of the day, the sperm must decide to go into the egg, okay. So we find that fertilization rate or the success of that sperm fertilizing the egg is around 50 to 60 percent, okay. So now we have another technology that is called ICSI or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Now, it benefits men who actually have very low sperm count. So in conventional IVF, you still need a large amount of sperm to be kept with the egg. You know, sometimes you put 10,000 eggs, sorry, 10,000 sperms per egg. So if the person is having problems producing sperms, you're not going to get the number of uh, egg sperms. So here, you would rather directly inject it, you know, under, under microscope, okay, per one sperm per egg, okay. And uh, nowadays, we find that doing ICSI actually gives better fertilization rate. That means when we inject the egg, we find that at least 80%, sometimes even 90% fertilized, compared to conventional IVF where it's only 50% fertilization rate. So you find that you get higher fertilization rate and therefore you get more embryos, you know. So overall outcome seems to be better with uh, ICSI per se. Now, when we are, when my embryologist decides, okay, obviously they look at uh, look at the sperm, and it's all judged on morphological assessment. That means appearance of the sperm itself. Here, what they do, they use an IMC. That means it's a special uh, microscope, okay, a very high definition microscope where they are able to pick out the best looking sperm. Obviously, looks may not be the, you know, might not be a hundred percent accurate. Obviously, there could be some genetic issues with the sperm. We can't deny that fact. But if you're getting the best sperm, then it is a very high possibility that you are, you know, if you're looking at the best sper best looking sperm, you're probably getting the, you know, the, the best sperm available and, and by injecting it. We can't deny the fact that yes, you know, unfortunately there can be cases where they have actually injected the good looking sperm, but it was genetically abnormal. So those possibilities still do exist.